My name is Green Sydney. I own and operate a cafe while raising my husband of two years, my elementary school daughter, and my dog Coco. I have heard that people who are good at lying can make their brain think that they are telling the truth and can talk. The brain thinks it is telling the truth, so when it hears the story, it doesn't sound like a lie, and as a result, sounds like a lie to others. Sometimes, they are so good at lying that you are horrified when you find out later that it was a lie. Today, I'd like to talk about my friend Daisy. Hi Daisy. Hello, what's going on? I heard that you're planning to attend a lunch we're planning to go to this weekend. Oh yes, I was just thinking about going to lunch with someone that day. I heard Sarah talking to Arabella about going to lunch with Sydney. I thought I'd stop by. Oh yeah. What about it? As I recall, Sydney is going to lunch with you too, right? That lunch? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't think I can join you. Oh, why not? I have a lot of things I want to discuss with you in private this time. Oh, what is it? Is it something you want to talk about? Well, something like that. Well, then, it's good to have a lot of people to talk to, isn't it? Huh? I'll consult with you too. You know, even when I was young, I was asked for all kinds of advice. No, there are things you don't want to talk about with too many people, right? Don't worry, don't worry. I'm a tight-lipped guy. I won't tell anyone. Okay. So don't worry. <laughs> Since you don't seem to be able to guess, let me make this clear. What? I'm telling you not to come because it might be a nuisance if you come. Eh? Well, do you understand now? No, no, no. I don't understand. Why would it bother you if I go? Don't you understand it yourself? I don't know. Did I do something to you? No, you haven't done anything to me. Then what do you mean? I heard that when you went to lunch with Arabella last month, you left without paying your own bill. Well, no. Arabella told me that you said you would pay later, but in the end, you didn't pay. Of course I'm going to pay it. I just haven't had a chance to return it to Arabella yet. Then why don't you return the money before you go out to lunch with us? She is a housewife, so I'm sure she'll be home. No, but it- Arabella is not the only one. I've heard from many wives that you go home first and don't pay them. You're lying. It's true. As far as I am concerned, it is none of my business whether or not you pay the money you owe to the other wives. It's none of my business, but from what I've heard, it seems that more often than not, they leave without paying their own bill, so I don't want to have lunch with you from the beginning. It would be a hassle if they leave without paying again, wouldn't it? No! Wait a minute! Listen to me! What is it? It's not like I'm not going to pay! Well, then why are you leaving without paying? I mean, I'm an apartment manager, right? Yes. I often get calls from people who live in the apartment, and sometimes I get called in, so... And I have to go early. I said I'll pay the bill later. I wonder if there's an option for me to leave my own money. It's... I don't know exactly how much I owe, or... I don't have the smallest amount of money in my wallet. I don't know exactly how much I have. Then I can always go pay later, if I want to. What is the reason why I haven't paid anyone yet? That's because it's hard to make plans. I don't seem to be able to contact anyone to make plans. That's... I'm not going to have lunch with you until you give me a satisfactory answer. Oh, no. I'll pay you this time. Then invite someone other than me. What? It's not like I haven't paid, Sydney. I'm sorry. Enough. I'll go with someone else. Bye. Okay. Bye. Can I have a word with you? Oh, Sydney. What's going on? You're trying to go away in the middle? What? You're having lunch with Sarah and Elise today, aren't you? What? How do you know that? I was planning to attend that lunch meeting. Eh? A lie! From what I heard, you forced your way in even though Sarah had refused. She came over to where the two of us were having lunch, sat down on a chair, and ordered without permission. No, Miss Sydney didn't come after all, so don't complain. That's not how it works. Huh? Why not? Because I suddenly couldn't get out of work and had to cancel, I told her I'd treat the two of you to lunch as an apology. Huh? So if you do something selfish and increase the amount of the bill, I'll have to pay for that too. No, if you're going to treat those two, you should do the same for me. Why? I'm treating them to lunch as a way of apologizing to them for canceling on me. I don't owe you lunch. But I don't have a choice. I just got a call from a resident of the apartment who said he lost his key and can't get in. I have to get back as soon as possible. You're making the same excuse to get away again. Aren't you going to try to be a little creative? I'm not lying. Hmm. What? 
I heard that she apologized and left the restaurant while making a phone call in front of them. So what? It's not right. What is? Today's lunch was at a restaurant owned by an acquaintance of mine. I made a reservation and they had lunch there. I thought there was no signal in that restaurant. Huh? The owner's acquaintance is a bit strange. He doesn't like people to touch his phone while he's eating. So there is no phone signal and no Wi-Fi connection. So there's no way I could connect a phone in the restaurant. But how did you make a call? That's a lie! What kind of restaurant has no signal nowadays? Well, if you don't believe me, why don't you go back and try? There's no signal at all. Damn! Go back to the restaurant now. Okay, 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 okay! And give them both their own money and leave. Yes, yes! What the- How can there be no signal nowadays? It was as if there really was someone on the other end of the phone. They were both so surprised. If you're an actor, you're a scary person. Don't give such an impersonal performance just to skimp on lunch money. Shut up! I thought you believed me! You should have checked the signal on your phone before you did your act. Sydney, what are you doing? What is it suddenly? My apartment's on fire! A fire this time? You never learn, do you, dear? No, it's not! It's like it's on fire! Huh? Well, I was apologizing to them back at the store. A resident was trying to contact me on my phone. I couldn't get a signal, so I couldn't reach them. I swear. What? From my store, looking towards your apartment? It's, well, it's on fire. It's all Sydney's fault. Huh? If Sydney hadn't told me to go back to the store at that time, I would have gotten in touch with you right away. Before that, you should have left with your own money from the beginning. Ugh. Besides, if I had gotten in touch with you right away, it wouldn't have prevented the fire. I could have moved some of the stuff from home. Everything is on fire. Anyone hurt? It doesn't seem to be burning much except for my room. No one was hurt or anything, and no one was seriously hurt. Well, that's good to hear. That's not good! Only my room is on fire! Everything you own is on fire! You only care about your possessions. Of course I do! You have so many important things! Why did you only burn my room? Maybe I'm being punished because you always use it as an excuse to lie. Shut up! I've already been through this! You can at least let me off with today's lunch money! Dismissed. Huh? I... My apartment burnt down! That's it? So... You could at least tolerate my lunch money. That's none of my business. Oh no! You were always floating lunch money even before that. I don't care if it's not you, but you've been skimming money off of other people. I have no sympathy for you. Demon! Demon! Call me whatever you want. I don't care what you say, but before having such a line with me as a landlord, I think you have something you need to do. Moo! Worst! At best, you do your job as a landlord in case of a real emergency. Well, goodbye. Later, the fire department found out that Cigarette Left in Daisy's room was the cause of the fire. I can't help but feel sorry for them that the fire was caused by their own carelessness. They caused trouble for the residents and their room, furniture, and belongings burned to the ground. Since then, Daisy has been asking for donations from various wives, saying that the fire had destroyed everything, but because of the lies she has told, not a single one of them said that they would help her out. A DQN mommy friend left me in the bathroom at an SA on the highway during a bus tour, and before I knew it, the DQN was left behind in the SA. My name is Simmons Remy. I'm running a cafe while raising my husband who is two years older than me, my elementary school daughter, and my dog Coco. I wonder if there are people around who lose their temper and act without thinking about the consequences, or do you think you are one yourself? I have to admit that getting emotionally involved is not a good thing to do in any situation. Of course, there is no time to think about such things at that time. Some people may not have the time to think about such things at the time, and once they become emotionally involved, they may not be able to withdraw from the situation. Some people, no matter how emotional they may have become, may do things that cannot be undone. Today, I'd like to talk about my friend Tegan. Good evening, Remy. Good evening. You sent me a line? Yes, thank you for taking me to lunch today. London said you had just moved in and he wanted to take you out to lunch once. You can thank her. Yeah, I thanked London earlier too. Yeah. Oh, I have a question. I don't know. Do you have a boss mom? Boss mom? Yeah, someone you shouldn't cross. Well, someone you're not supposed to cross or get involved with is Baker Sloan. Baker? Yeah, she's a self-appointed leader of the group. 
She didn't really stand out to me, but yeah. Yeah, she says she's funny. Well, she's a funny guy and a leader, so she must be well-liked by everyone. I don't know. Thank you. Let me know if you need anything else. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Bye. Good evening, Remy. Good evening. Today. What? What? Today's lunch meeting. You preached to me in front of other people, didn't you? I didn't mean to lecture you, but it was because you were 30 minutes late for an appointment, wasn't it? You asked me to introduce you to a PTA board member, so I invited you to a lunch meeting with Lila, who is a board member. I invited you to a lunch meeting, but you didn't say a word of apology, even after we went to the restaurant. It was crowded on the street, so what could I do? I don't deserve to be lectured about such things by you, who is not a boss mom. You say like I lectured, but I said it in a way that didn't make the atmosphere worse. Why should I care? I'm asking from Baker. About what? I heard that you were preaching to various wives. Huh? I guess the rumors are true. Are you going to lecture me like that? It seems like you don't have the brains to understand what I'm lecturing to you right now. Huh? How dare you talk to me like that? You are rude! I don't want to be told by you who arrives late without notice or apology and looks unconcerned about it. I wouldn't normally give you a warning for being a little late. Is that so? Yes, I do! If you are going to warn me, I'll be careful. I just get angry when you tell me. Well, I thought I chose my words carefully considering your situation, but I guess it was none of my business. That's right! If you're so picky about tardiness, have you never been late even for a second in your life? I'm just saying. I didn't say that. Then can you stop complaining about other people's tardiness? Okay, I won't say anything else. If you understand, that's fine. I'm not looking for a fight, so don't say something weird again. Okay. Bye. Remy, you're coming on the bus tour next week, right? Yes, I am. I heard that we'll be the only ones on the bus this time. Yes, we have a good number of people, and I made a request to a bus company friend of mine. I see. What about it? No, I just thought I'd mention it. I don't know what. It seems like you made some kind of reservation for a bus charter. I was wondering if he would be overbearing again and give me weird warnings or something. Huh? Like the other day when he got seriously mad at me for being a little late. That kind of thing makes people around you feel bad, so don't do it, okay? I won't say anything if you don't do something insane that bothers people around you. Then fine, you're always nagging Baker too, aren't you? That's only when Baker Sloan does something stupid. What's stupid? You're just giving him attention for trivial things, aren't you? You're a small person, Remy. You've only known me for a short time, and you're talking so much when you listen to me without saying a word. Huh? You were afraid of who the boss mom is, but you yourself have a very bold personality, don't you? If you are such a bold person, you don't need to be afraid of the boss mom. Well, I wish you had learned to use more sensible language before you came out into the world. I beg your pardon? You are as rude as ever. Not really. I didn't mean it as a compliment. That's enough. Anyway, don't say unnecessary things again. I'll take care of it. Bye. Remy, what do you mean? Huh? You said something weird to me just now. I think it was at the cash register. Yes, at the convenience store in SA, behind me, telling me to hurry up. There were several people in line at the register. You were yelling at the cashier for something you didn't understand. What do you mean you don't understand? The juice I was going to buy was the wrong one, so I sent the clerk to get it. And then she brought me another wrong drink. Don't keep yelling and screaming at me like that. You should have just gone and got it yourself. With that many people around? Shame on me. I was going to complain, but you were not on the bus yet. My bad, I'm still in line for the bathroom. Hmm, you warn others, but you don't mind making others wait. What are you going to do if this makes the bus to her late? We'll be fine this time, since we're renting out the whole place and the time is reasonably flexible. Well, hurry up! I'll be back in a bit. What? There's no bus, but Lila told me that you talked to the driver. She said you talked to the driver and made the bus leave. Yes, it already left. <laughs> what? Remy is late. I didn't want to waste time, so I asked her to go ahead. She said that since everyone is here, you should leave now. <laughs> so you left me behind. I asked them to leave for everyone's sake. I know you all want to get going. I understand. Well, if you want to come, Remy can take a cab or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you'll get into trouble if you go to the destination without me. Huh? 
Will you stop it? <laughs> I was wondering what you were going to say. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can have a good time without you. Are you sure about that? What are you trying to say? What are you going to do with the bus fare? What? I will settle the bus fare when we get to our destination, but I have the money. What? Are you kidding? It's true. I thought you paid for these things in advance. I told you, this time I asked my friend to take me on a bus tour. They're giving me a discount as a favor, and I'm supposed to pay for it on the spot. Moo, you should have told me something important like that first. Why would I bother telling you that? Damn, I don't have a choice. Wait there. Remy, where are you? Where is it? I'm almost at my destination. Huh? I'm back at the SA where I left Remy. I guess you're right. I just got back. I'm sorry, Baker Sloan told me you were coming alone, but I couldn't wait, so I left first. How did you get there? Cab. What? Why? When I explained the situation to London, she said it was the driver's fault for leaving without checking properly. The bus company agreed to pay for the cab. London? Why London? Didn't I tell you? This bus tour is a group company of London's father's company. I didn't know that. I mean, you don't really think I'm coming by cab. I came here by cab too. How much do you think it cost? It was over 10,000 yen. As for my portion? Of course I won't pay. Oh no. Well, goodbye. Wait a minute, I don't have any more money. I can't take a cab over there. I don't know what to do from here. Help. Sloane, can you help me? What? Remy, she went to his destination alone. Hmm. I'm stranded in SA. Please, can you take a cab to pick me up? I don't have that kind of money. But you told me to take a cab to Remy's place to get some money. Did he? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Bye bye Wait a minute. Then tell someone to pick me up. You're the leader. You can give directions and stuff, right? Shut up. Nobody listens to me. Huh? What are you talking about? How dare you be so brazen and pathetic? But you're still the leader. I don't know. Do something by yourself. What the hell? Remember me. If you harm me, Remy won't shut up. She's my best friend. Liar! Well, goodbye. Oh, wait a minute!